This is just a quick little video to show you the consistency of my paint for the bloom recipe. Now I am holding the end of the stir stick about an inch from the surface. See I'm getting a mound on a mound. Now if you're holding your stick way up here, see that? You're going to get a dip all the way up there. So just be careful, when I say a mound on a mound, just hold your stick about an inch from the top, okay? Otherwise you're not going to get the same result as I am. Just run that across the top, go round once, it's gone. Round once, it's gone. One. So it's kind of gone, well, I don't know, a second, less than a second. You can still kind of see the, the trace after a second. So I'm going to say a second. Let's try one, two, so yeah, a second. Um, now, when Shelly brought her recipe out, she did three parts of the untinted house paint, um, whatever brand you're using in whatever country you're in, to one part Josonia's gloss varnish. I make mine thinner. I do three parts of the untinted paint to one part Josonia's gloss varnish and then I add one part of polycrylic. I just find that works best for me when I'm blowing my paint around. It spreads easily. I find that if it's too thick, um, it kind of goes cakey. It doesn't want to spread. On the other hand, if it's too thin, it will go muddy. Your colors will bl blend too much and it'll go muddy. So my pouring medium is three parts of the untinted house paints to two parts gloss varnish. So there you go. Hope that has helped some of you, but just practice. Some paints are thicker than others. Um, some of the paints you have to add a little bit of extra untinted house paint to, base paint, and others you have to add an extra splash of polycrylic. It's usually the opaque colours and the uh, metallics. I find you have to thin out a little bit more with another little splash of polycrylic. So there you go. Hope that's helped a few of you. Okay, bye from down under. Hey guys, welcome back. Look how bright and glary this is. Oh, I have to just aim this down a little bit because it's in my eyes. I'll show you in a minute what I've, well, at the end of the video, I'll show you what I'm using for my light. Um, it's great uh, for small spaces. Now, if you haven't got good lighting, you've got overhead lights, you've got pendants, whatever, <clears throat> I'll show you my stand light at the end of the video. When I take you in for a close-up, I can zoom up and show you my little setup. Right, blues and greens. Yay! Where's my gloves? Where did I put my gloves? Oh, here they are. Um, yeah, blues and greens. Been wanting to do this one for a while. That last one I did with the blues and greens with the long canvas did not work. Um, yeah, so the spin, I think, is only going to work for either a square or a round canvas. The long, narrow one that I did, it just blew everything right off the edges and the middle didn't really change. So if you've got a long, skinny canvas, do the old-fashioned tilting instead. But if you've got a round or a square, then spin away, my friends. Spin away. Um, now, teal which is a mixture of half-half phthalo blue, phthalo green, navy blue, mixture of phthalo blue and a tiny bit of black. This lovely green is called Brilliant Green. These are all semi-transparent so far. Uh, this one I've mixed aqua with a bit of phthalo blue. And then this one is just plain aqua. Now the aqua is a um, opaque. It seems to me that all the opaques and the metallics need to be mixed with a little bit of extra 
gloss varnish to thin them down otherwise they're too thick uh, this one is just plain phthalo blue looks a bit darker on the label there doesn't it but that's the phthalo blue so all blues and greens today uh, pouring medium as usual is my three parts untinted wall paint low sheen and then I put one part Josonia's gloss varnish one part polyacrylic now a lot of you do two to one I find it's too thick for what I personally like so I go three to two okay and then I mix that two parts gloss varnish to one part Joe Sonia's except for the the opaques and the metallics I then have to add an extra splash of polycrylic now I've got my tin of polycrylic but you know it's a tin so every time you want to have a little splash of polycrylic you've got to open the tin so I just put it in this and then all I have to do is just pour a little bit into my my cup when I'm mixing my colors right so those are my colors that's my pouring medium um, oh that was loud wasn't it oh I, I keep forgetting the tripod is up on my table and whatever I do to the table is going to shake the tripod that's my pillow paint my base uh, this one is British paints it's a wall low sheen interior in white white okay been looking forward to this one my favorite colors so let's hope I can do it justice I've got this little pory thing on the top of my tin just to make it easier to pour this is a 16 inch square which is 40 centimeters by 40 centimeters I think that would be enough one of the pores recently I put too much on and I just lost all my paint where do you think you're going come back oops I can't spin you while my um, paints there I've got double-sided tape on top of tin foil aluminium foil or aluminum foil as you guys in the state say it aluminium foil on my turntable and that's just holding my canvas it's actually sitting on the on the actual canvas underneath All right so that's better righto um, now this time I want to put my bright phthalo blue underneath my cell activator. Oh, that's what I haven't told you about, my cell activator. Here it is, it's another little squeezy bottle. I just get these on Amazon in a pack of 20. I've had to buy two lots now, 40 of them. Uh, three parts Australian Floetrol, one part titanium white in the Amsterdam. I haven't really tried any other brand. Um, I like this one, I'm happy with it. Um, if you put an opaque color under your white your cell activator is going to take on that color and it's going to look as if you've got aqua cell activator so I'm going to just I think I'll try that mm. all right start with teal and I'm just going to take the lids off because I need a decent amount Put a big blob down first and then I'll decide if I want to do other little blobbies around it which I probably will because I think that works really nicely this one I've just made up look how bubbly it is because I ran out in my last pour okay so remember to try and do light dark light dark so I've got dark got light uh, and then back to dark again that's my navy and then you guessed it light again there's no point putting teal on top of navy you know you're not going to see it it's the same as when you're doing your flip cut pores this one i made up as well look at that it's bubbly it should be fine i'll blow it out it'll be fine and then this bluey color and then i'm going to put this bright blue on top because I think that's going to be really pretty and then I'm just going to go around the outside with a little bit of the blue there 
little bit of the blue there. Try not to get too much out. I should probably keep my lids next to them so I know where I'm going with this. Okay, and a little bit more navy. Now I have said in previous videos, the rule of thirds, your canvas, your puddle, your puddle should be a third. Okay, so you're a third, a third, a third. Don't make your puddle this big. You know, you need to make your puddle a decent enough size that you're actually going to cover the whole canvas. Let me just put a little bit of green just there. Mm. Michelle won't put the turquoise on because it's, as I said, it's a um, opaque colour. And I don't want the opaques right under the white because they just turn, did you guys see my last one when I did the turquoises and browns? I had the um, turquoise underneath the cell activator and everyone thought I used turquoise cell activator. I'm going, no, it's white. It's just taken on the colour of the cell activator because it's um, an opaque colour, which is weird, isn't it? Um, do I want any more? No. All right, let's, let's go with that. Let's go with that. And hopefully I can do a good job. I've got my hairdryer. I've got my little medicine cups on the end there just to reduce the size of the outlet there. And I'm going to have it on cold and on low. Don't put it on high, guys, and blow it right off the canvas. Just don't. my blows gently does it guys with the blows trust me gently does it you start blowing too much wind across and you're gonna lose these delicate lacings you're just gonna get like big stripes of color oh look at the lime the green I wish I had more over here Wowzers! that was that little blob I put on the edge of the green and then I had blue over here that's really pretty Next time, next time. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do another one, aren't I? Next time. Um, the lime on top of the blue. Now while that's sitting there for a minute, I'm just gonna put my lids back on. Bear with me. Now the other thing you can also do while you're waiting, if you want to, is blow out, I'm not gonna put any more white on it because I want it to be quite a dark painting, but you can if you want. Blow out your rainbow lines there. I don't know that this is strong enough. No, it's not. Um, kind of need to get your hair dryer out. I don't think I want it. No, I'm not going to do it though because I blew that white pretty well, if I do say so myself. There's only a little bit of the rainbow lines there. I, I got a pretty good circle. If I had like a big like a U-shape with rainbow lines in it, I would then blow that out, but it's pretty good. And I don't want to risk getting the hair dryer out and blowing my lacing all up the creek there and destroying it. So let's just leave it like that. Um, now, do I want to put you on pause while I do this? Or I'm just going to put the video on pause for one minute. I need to wait until that dent comes out a little bit. All right, and then I'll come back to you and I'll show you how we loosen up the middle before we go any further. You guys didn't tell me that my light was in the way on that bottom corner. <laughs> I've moved it now. I moved it back a little bit. It's probably going to be shining in my eyes a little bit, but hey, just as well, I found that, hey? Okay, let's get going. Climb down my ladder. Where did I put my glove? Oh, where did I put my... 
glove. Oh, there it is behind me. Okay. Uh, it's still got a bit of a dent there in the middle. So what do we need to do now that we've got a bit of a dent because we've blown it with the hairdryer? We need to loosen the middle. So what we need to do, and I don't know if I can do it because it's really quite stuck. don't know that it's going to actually move I think I think I'll just leave it because I don't think it's that oh it's it's better it is better I've just got a little bit there in the middle now but I'm gonna leave it because I might start disrupting my cells but normally you would move it move it until you loosen the bottom but I think it'll be all right I actually don't mind if the middle bit gets stuck there because they're quite big the cells well they're not cells they're lacing the lacing's quite big there so I'm gonna move this weight of the paint down this way a little bit Oh, see, I'm trying. The problem with moving it is it can start going ziggy zaggy. I just don't want to lose too much of that before it gets over here. But I'll give it a spin and then maybe I can move this because that is just a to die for. It's always the best bit, isn't it, that you're worried about losing. So I put my puppy pedal pads in the bottom of my kitty pool or doggy bath, whatever you want to call it, and I've cut another two in half and just put them around the sides there just to catch some of the overflow wow 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 look at it look at it look at it okay now let's see if i can move some of that down so that's the, that's the only problem if you're trying to move it that center gets a bit squished up no i'm gonna leave it you can see how the lacing was starting to fall down on itself already. I'm just going to wet these corners. Make sure you don't let the paint drip back into the center. If you were so inclined now would be the time to blow those corners out because you don't want to risk overstretching your painting. Um, but you do want to cut your corners covered, even if it's just a blended colour. So you can try and just blow those out. A little bit. I'm not disrupting any lacing, I'm just blending. Oi, back up there, I'm just blending the corners ever so carefully. all the corners um, maybe that will look better than just a white corner so be careful of my cord I am being a bit chicken I'm not getting too close just in case I disrupt some um, lacing. So I was playing it very carefully with the blood, with the hair dryer. Okay, let's see if we can get over the corners now. So don't be afraid to do that. You know, just use your blower, blend the paint in those corners. You better, I think, you're better off having some blended color than just white corners. What do you think? Do you agree? I think so. All right, let's stop this little baby. Wow, 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 wow. I think I do need to go over the corner just a little bit more, just there. 
but you can see how the blendings helped like if I had to I could leave that there it's just that tiny little bit of white there that's bothering me just opening up that middle just a touch put that back down make sure it's even okay and let's go a little bit more coming off I don't want too much coming off so let's stop that let's catch it underneath that is perfect I don't want any more coming off just got rid of that white corner wow look at that Actually, while I'm here, I'm just gonna, while I've got dirty gloves on, I'm just gonna run my finger underneath, catch the drips. It's kind of easier than trying to get um, my palette knife in there. It's a bit of a, a bit of a squish to do it, but if I do this, I can actually get in there. Wow. I'm gonna stop saying wow. <laughs> All right, look at that electric blue in the middle. So again, we kind of got light on this side where there's a lot of the green under the cell activator. And then this side's a little bit darker. This is more of a peacock kind of a color here. Can you see the dark teal there? Um, the teal and the blue are kind of making like a little bit of a purpley look in some areas. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm having so much fun with this spinner, I tell you. This is like my third one for today. Now, if if I've helped anybody with their painting, their medium, um, composition, anything at all, if I've helped you, feel free to donate to my channel. I don't like asking, I really don't, but <laughs> this um, it all costs a lot of money. So if I have helped you in any way, if you would like to um, help me as well and um, I'll get some more paint and I'll keep going, keep experimenting. Uh, there's a PayPal link down below in the description. But yeah, don't feel as if you have to. I hate asking, <laughs> but every little bit helps. Righto, let me get you down for a close up. Love it. So I love blues and greens, my favourites. And that little pop of greeny, limey colour mixed with the white, it kind of gives it really that iridescent glow, doesn't it? I wish I'd used a little bit more, but first time using the blues and greens in this. Now, when it comes to cell activator, you can see how the lacing is really quite fine. It's not very thick lacing it's not very white dramatic if you use a thicker cell activator like a two to one ratio two parts float troll one part paint you will get more white over the top the lacing will be thicker it may just be a little bit harder to blow and move around with a hairdryer but I might try that next time because I personally really really like more the, the lacing to be more dramatic more bright more white so I'm gonna go with these colors again not today because um, I've had enough it's like my what did I say my third pour although some of them I did redo now see if I can get down here without knocking anything off so I will do that with um, one of the another blue another day okay so this is my setup there's my pool there's my light now these lights, um, it's like a photographic for models and things. It's a, it's quite big. There's my hand. Oops, no, we're not seeing that very well. <laughs> that didn't work at all. Um, okay, so it's it's pretty big. It's the back of it. Um, there's my ladder. I've got my light there. Up there's my tripod where I put my camera to film everything so if you guys haven't got very good lighting 
Um, you don't need to spend a lot of money. This was, I think, $90. And um, it's got a great LED light. Probably not so good like if you're doing this because you get the ring. Who's seen the movie The Ring? Me! Love it. Okay, so it's fine for when you're, you know, maybe this way. But if you're going to be around the other way, you're going to see the light. So just turn it off. Okay? And then we can come back around this way. So, this little overhead light there. So anyway, a little bit of info for you. It all helps, doesn't it? A little bit of info. All right, let's take you in for a close-up. So I did pretty good with my blowing of the white. Um, over near the corners here where I didn't get very much white. Over the corner or over one area you don't get terribly much lacing but in the areas where you've blown your white well you get really good lacing all the way to the edges so go slow with your lacing like I said in the last video don't blow the bejesus out of it go slow just glide your white over the top of your other colors and then you'll get gorgeous gorgeous lacing if you blow it too hard, you're going to destroy all your lacing and you're just going to get blended colours. Which, if that's what you want, that's fine. But I want lacing, so I, um, you know, blow it nice and gently. So there we go. My blues and my greens. Love it. I don't love that light, though, in the way. Never mind. What can you do? Um, yeah, so... Hope you like that one. It doesn't look quite as dark in the... It's probably more it. If I turn my brightness down, it's probably more realistic. It's quite dark. When I put the photo up, and I'll, I'll put it up on my Facebook page, you'll see the true colour. Um, it always looks a little bit glary uh, through the camera. So there you go. Love you and leave you till the next one. Uh, what other colours would you like to see me try on these? Go for it. Let me know some more colours. Definitely going to do this one again with more green and the thicker cell activator, CA. Okay, so watch out for that one. And don't forget to hit the little notification bell. Sometimes they don't work, so just re-hit the notification bell. And make sure that you are being notified every time I put up a new video. Alright, see you real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.